Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and uh, thank you to the chairman for yielding me this time. I rise to oppose the motion to in instruct conferees to not include my colleague, Representative Ronnie Jackson's amendment in the fiscal year 24 NDAA. This policy is a gross misuse of taxpayer dollars to circumvent state laws and violates the decades old partisan High, bipartisan Hyde Amendment. It is clear that Joe Biden and Lloyd Austin's Department of Defense is more focused on appeasing the woke mob of pink hat-wearing feminists than focusing on keeping our nation safe. This is the same DOD that surrendered to the Taliban, costing the lives of 13 brave service members. This is the same DOD treating our military like a woke social experiment. And this is the same DOD the House will vote to fund later this week. The Department of Defense should be focused on readiness and lethality, not spending taxpayer dollars to kill the lives of innocent unborn babies. We're not going to give up on this cause that is righteous, and we're not going to stop fighting to give voice to the voiceless. Since Roe v. Wade in 1973, over 63 million lives have been lost to abortion. I personally have held a newborn baby born at 23 weeks old, one pound, eight ounces, and I know that her life has just the same worth and value as any one of us standing here today. I wanna to thank my friend and colleague, Congressman Ronnie Jackson, for his leadership in restoring our military focus and protecting these precious unborn lives. I am proud to stand with my colleagues in defense of these children, as well as with millions of Americans across our nation. I urge my colleagues to oppose this motion to instruct. And Mr. Speaker, I yield back. Gentlemen.